everybody catch somebody by the hand. I need you to speak this into their life. Look them in the eye and say, what you're holding in your hand is priceless. Tell them one more time. They didn't get that. What you are holding in your hand is priceless. Now tell them this. Say, it's in your hand. Say, I'm telling you, it's in your hand. It's in your hand. Say, prosperity is in your hand. You were created to prosper. <laughs> Let me say that one more time. Because this, you know, sometimes you can get news that's not actually good news. You can get a text that's not actually a good text, an email that's not actually a positive email. Uh, someone can, can leave you a message on your voicemail that's not actually a positive message. So, so let me send this out to you again because maybe the transmission was a little broken. Uh, in your spiritual man, so you didn't get all of the message. You were created to prosper. Now, now hold on. Hold up before you shout. Don't, don't shout yet. There, 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 there's more. There's more. Say there's more. Mm. You were created to be a blessing. Uh, hold, hold up. I know, I know. Hold up. Don't shout yet. Just wait, wait, wait. One more thing. One more thing. Mm. You were uh, created to make things happen. Oh boy, oh, it's getting deep up in here now. You, I can tell the ones that don't feel that, that, not feeling that, that they were created to make things happen. Maybe as of now, up until now, they have been an individual, a type of person who never was the go-to guy or the go-to girl. They simply thought that they didn't have resources. Hello, but once you're connected to the holy, you have a lot of resources. That's why people that are blessed and highly favored, they have, people go to them and say, listen, if you want to know, you better ask them. It's not so much knowing that they can answer their problem, but they know somebody. Y'all better talk to me up in here that has the answers to all their problems. I forgot y'all was back here. I'm so sorry. So, 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 so listen, let me tell you one more thing. So listen, failure in quitting is not an option. It's not an option. Just high five. Give, give them a, a sit down high five, the person next to you. Hey Amen. I got to get the blood flowing. It's not an option. It's not an option. So now listen, understand this. Everything, everything, and I mean everything, everything that God puts in us is to bless someone else with. Now, listen, this is, this is amazing, because I, I got the best seat now, because I get to look at everybody's expression. When I said everything that God puts us in, in us is to bless, it was some people like, great, to clap and great, go off. But then that spirit of selfishness, as in some people, they're like, I don't, I don't want to be giving nobody else my stuff. <laughs> so you have to know your purpose. And listen, when we make Jesus the Lord of our lives, hmm, he awakens the purpose and plan of God within us. When we make him the Lord of our lives, you, you cannot be prosperous without Christ being the Lord of your life. Okay. They, they didn't see that over there. You cannot be prosperous. And just, just in case if you're thinking shallow, thinking I'm talking about money, you've missed the last two weeks. We, we, we way ahead of that. You cannot be prosperous as a whole individual, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, financially, in all those departments, if you do not make Christ the Lord of your life. Ephesians 2 and 8 through 10. Verse 8 says like this, he said, For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. 
verse 9. It says, not of works, lest any man should boast. So what you listen, that little stuff that you got, uh, if, if God is not in it, it's just temporary. It will soon fade away. And what does it profit a man to gain the whole wide world and mess around and lose his soul? Verse 10, it says, for we are his workmanship. Wow. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Y'all see the connection, the connection, the connection? Which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. Mm, do y'all see that? So, so the truth of the matter is, we are the most fulfilled when we are benefiting someone else. When you have a servant's heart, you have tapped into some unusual prosperity that others Genesis miss. 12, 1. I just got a humorous spirit in me today. Now, listen, I want you to see this, and I want you to look at, look at what's going on here. It says, now the Lord has said unto Abram, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred. Some of y'all not prosper because some of your own peoples you hanging around. You're like, what, what are you talking about, Pastor? Some of your cousins, them, and your brother and sister, them, who got crab mentality, they don't want to see you get there because they haven't got, they don't even want to get there. That's the sad part about it. At least if you don't want to get there, I want to see you get there so you can just at least break me off something. I want, to, listen, I want to see you, you know, just get happy. You know, that's what Will said in the movie. Well, just get happy. Go get happy. I want to see you go get happy even. At least I can see somebody being happy. So what are you saying, Pastor? You saying my own sibling or my own relatives might not want to see me do well in life? Absolutely. They know what's on the inside of you. They know that you can sing with the best of them. But they're not encouraging you to try out for, you know, X factor, Q factor, Z factor, none of them factors. They just want you to keep singing in the shower. Because they scared that you're going to make it. They know that you are great in math, but they don't want you to go to college so you can be somebody's accountant, the church's CPA. <laughs> but no, they want you to keep your math in your head. So the scriptures told, listen, Abram was saying, get out of that country. Sometimes the neighborhood is the wrong neighborhood you live in. Your kids cannot progress. They cannot experience prosperity because every kid around them believes that poverty is the lifestyle. I don't care if you got to work two jobs, three jobs. Get your kids up out of there. So now listen. He said, I will bless thee. Look at the rest. Look what God is saying. I want you to get there because you prosperous with your prosperous bad self. He said, and I will make thy name great. You don't even have to do it. It comes automatically. People will recognize your gift. So I will make thy name great. Listen, look at the rest of it. This is important. This is where I'm driving what I was getting at before this. And thou shalt be a what? You ain't going to have no problem being a blessing to somebody with your prosperous self. Give me verse 3, I think it is. I think it's the last one. Verse 3, look at verse 3. He said, you're going to be a blessing, man. You're going to be saying, listen, God just told me place in my heart to bless you. God placed in my heart to do this for you. God placed in my heart to do that. Now, listen, if God didn't say it, then don't be going to run around lying. Just, you know, and you know if people run around lying, they want to make a big speech about it. Pastor, I got a, 
I got something I want to say to the church. And then, see, that's why we don't do that here. I'm sorry if your old church did that. We don't do test the lies or none of that stuff, you know. Uh, people come up and they talk about, well, God placed it on my heart to bless sister so-and-so with these five dresses. Come on, y'all bring them in. And then it'd be somebody bringing in five dresses. God don't work like that. Come make a public spectacle of the individual receive. They can't even receive it out of gladness because you the people didn't even know they really needed any dresses. Now you run around telling everybody you gave them five dresses. That's not prosperous. And it said, listen, verse 3 says, and I will bless them that bless thee. Oh, God. Back up to verse 2. Look at the end of verse 2. And thou shalt be a blessing. Go to verse 3. The first part of verse 3 says, and I will bless them that bless thee. So once it leaves your hand, it's coming back to your hand. I'm trying to show you something here. Don't worry about it leaving your hands. Because whatever God places on your heart to bless somebody with,